Welcome back to Fallout 4, where we're starting our actual playthrough today. Lee has just returned to the surface from the vault, <sighs> which he's been in for, what, 210 years or something? <sighs> to this beautiful wasteland out here. <laughs> so, um, I spent a little time before I started just kind of playing with mods a bit. I actually, and here they are coming online. I tried to play for about an hour just to see how things worked as they were, but I've had to tweak some of the settings. For one thing, I have a mod which um, changes dynamic encounters, so there are going to be like mobs appearing that I uh, don't plan on. For one thing, whenever I was playing on my first test, the settings were way too high, so I had a group of um, five glowing ones and a super mutant behemoth just appear <laughs> out of nowhere and uh, they very swiftly murdered me so <laughs> I had to change that hopefully now it's set to manageable where I'm still gonna get some surprises but it's not gonna just horribly murder me like I couldn't even make it down right here without just being Gang banged by <laughs> all kinds of crap. Ugh, okay. But it's really quiet now. I wonder if I might have set it too low. Over time, I'm actually going to be turning it up as I get stronger. Also, I'm just kind of looking at things like I have a water mod, but it doesn't look like it changed anything. I might have to play with that a bit too. There's going to be a lot of fiddling with mods, so, you know, just. Be patient. <laughs> it should be mostly good, though. Ah, Sanctuary. So, as I said in the first video, I'm going to be somewhat role-playing. I'm not going to be acting, but I'm going to be choosing things based on what Lee would actually choose. So, for one thing, remember Codsworth is not Lee's robot. Lee didn't grow up here, he didn't live here before the war. But, of course he would approach the first thing he sees whenever he leaves. As I live and breathe! Oh, it's... it's really you! <laughs> See, the options are not quite the same as a vanilla playthrough. Who are you supposed to be? Are you well, sir? And call me Codsworth, if you please. See, now he's actually introduced himself to me. A robot waiter. I live to serve, sir! <laughs> My god, they did it. Those bastards really did it. Everything's dead. Everything's dead? Ah, yes, the, the guard. <laughs> uh, the posies have been problematic, I admit. If only Indeed. sir were here to help, where is he, by the by? I like that it still references that I've got the uh, gay marriage mod installed. So, Nate in this universe was gay. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, let's see, what should I go with? Oh, Jesus, what is that? <laughs> Whoops, camera. Uh, should I say, just who's the Sean or go fuck yourself, crazy robot? He's probably going to be a little bit pissed off about just everything that's going on, so... Go fuck yourself, you crazy robot. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> and now, Lee will find out just how long he's been out. Let's see. Should I say 200 years what? Uh, God damn it. Doesn't matter how long. 200 years? What? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. 
That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. <laughs> you must be famished. You know, I guess if a crazy robot offers you some food, you, you know, why not? And of course, I'm not going to go for the charisma option because I have basically none. Uh, sure, I guess. Then I'll be right back. <laughs> I love Codsworth's humming. <laughs> and, you know, he's like one of my favorite characters from the, the regular game, so it's kind of sad that now he's just crazy. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, of course, comics. It's in remarkably good shape for having sat on the counter for 200 years. Mr. Lee? Ah, here you are, sir. Now, I've been thinking, if something is amiss, your loved ones may simply be hiding from the Red Menace. Uh, you know, actually, my family is the Red Menace because I'm, I'm role-playing Codsworth. I'm role-playing as the son of a communist. Or maybe evil leprechauns. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, Sir and Young Sean, they're, they're my family, too. I don't know who you're talking about, Cotsworth. Uh, you know, fine. All Let's right. do it. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! Coffee? Mmm. Cotsworth, are you having some trouble getting out? Has he made it? Oh, not quite. Yeah, it might be better to just take that door after all. <laughs> all right, let's get that baton ready. What's all this? We're gonna have to do some smacking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I need it. Jesus. Where the hell is it? Oh. Hey! Get off me. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me! I'll be right there. I just want to look around a little bit. Look at this. There's a safe here. Oh, I don't have bobby pins. Get him, Cotsworth. Also, I have a mod that um, l will let me use the radio, too. I'll talk about that right after the uh, becoming interaction with Codsworth. Get out of here. Jesus. Stop it. Hey. Christ. Throw some spray and blood everywhere. Codsworth. Mr. Lee, your, your family isn't here either. They're really gone, aren't they? I don't know who you're talking about, Codsworth. Um, he would he ask about other survivors, or would he just be pissy with the robot? He might be kind of pissy after all that he's gone through. Happy? This whole thing was a waste of time. I only wanted to help, sir. But maybe you could try Concord. I've seen people in that area, and they're only slightly heavily armed. <laughs> uh, sarcastic option, have to take I like it. these people already. Oh, good. Maybe you'll get along <laughs> then, and they can help you find young Sean. I shall remain here and secure the home front. All right, thanks, Cosworth. You're a peach. So anyway, I have a mod that um, changes the music on Diamond City Radio into copyright-free uh, cover versions and other things that are copyright-free. So now I can actually listen to Diamond City Radio without having to worry about any kind of uh, copyright strikes on my account. So here so, we go! Um, <clears throat> this radio station, here, we, we don't really make any caps. And, uh, I need to are, set up uh, the works, uh, workshop Well, some people too. help me stay in the air. People like... Uh, like this. The Colonial Tap House wants to remind everyone that you 
are not welcome there. <laughs> Upper stands residents only. I really enjoy some Betty Hutton. Uh, what's his name? Travis? To hear it. I mean, oh, you, Betty Hutton. Not, is it, it going to be actual uh, Betty Hutton? Probably not. Yes. I do actually really enjoy Betty Hutton. Oh, shit. Hey. <gasps> Stop it. Anymore? No? Okay. Let's transfer some crap over. Store all our junk in here. Also, I'm gonna store any food. Yeah, the rest of that's okay. And then with it sitting in there, I can cook. And um, I'm probably gonna be relying on a lot of food in this playthrough because I'm going to need to heal up pretty often. I think that's all I can make at the moment, so good. I saw something. Oh, it's just leaves flying in the breeze. So, he says to go to Concord. Um, I guess I'm going to I'm going to just drop those while I'm here, since it's just right back here. Transfer junk. So, some of the things we can do. Of course, investigate Concord. And as I was saying before, I don't mean to press that. Here we go. Um, there's Sunshine Tidings is down here. And so the lore that I'm making for my character is that his family lived in a house about right here. So that's also going to be a point for me to just go to and investigate. Maybe I'll go to Concord first and take care of that, just so I get the, the people up to Sanctuary. And then from there, I'll go off to the house. So it's like, he just came out and he's like, well, there might still be people alive in Concord. And also this way I'll pick up dog meat. I'm surprised I haven't seen any spawns yet because uh, I know I did set it a little bit lower, but give me that drifter outfit. Also, you'll see there's a different underwear mod, so we don't all have just the same tidy whiteys on constantly. Drifter outfit, yep, that's a bit of an increase. Looking good, Lee. All right. Oh wait, I also need to change to the tire iron. Let's favorite that. I'm gonna put it to the right. And put the tin mill up here. And eventually I'll drop that security baton off somewhere, probably. Because the tire iron is a little bit stronger. So that was not Betty Hutton, but it was still nice. I assume that everything she's saying is copyrighted. Dreadful forces on Earth. Hey, Hello, dog. Boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? More than 100 years old. Only in the last 20 sort of years, a flea bag, aren't you? Become an important in the thinking and planning of the American public. Okay, then. The Let's stick together. Right, now, where are those, uh, those mole rats going to be? It is a great question mark in our happiness and economic well-being. What pick up all this stuff? Yeah. Oh, there's a... It, is this an advertisement about communism? Well, not an advertisement, like a public service announcement. The word communism, before Karl Marx began to make use of it, was an economic term, not a political one. What did you find? What did you find, Doggo? Webster's Collegiate Dictionary Communism as any system... Yeah, that's like the worst thing to do, is to define the thing you're talking about. It's like the big no-no in, in writing a, an essay. It's like, if you're writing about communism, Communism is defined! <laughs> Don't do that. That's the worst. Our found is a Jamestown and Plymouth colony live for a short period in a communal or communistic mode. Okay. Yeah, I'll get some cloth. I'll take that. Do I want that? Spring and steel? I mean, I'm gonna be able to just drop everything right over here since the workshop is right here. Oh, here they go. Hey! Yeah, fucker! Get out of here! Eat your ass! Ha! Only as a magnet. Uh -huh. Oh, that feels pretty good, actually. I like this melee thing. Oh, oh, oh. 
Following under the banner of Marx Let's and take all this crap and Stalin. drop it. Oh, look, its Communists titties are showing. Gross. Put those away. As capitalism and Christianity. As long so now I can as drop all this stuff. Socialism. What we is this <laughs> I'm listening to? <laughs> a funeral bird will be sung uh, over the Soviet transfer Republic or world junk. And all I can also put all the food. Himself. Since Lenin and his revolutionaries overthrew the Russian government in 1917, I want to cook a little food while I'm here. And continues to be motivated by the primary aim of destroying make, uh, all nations living in a capitalistic system. Communist or there it is. More at chunks. Concept of individualism are and much chunks. And the Christian yeah, concept of a spiritual god ruling oh, over god. the universe. Oh god, talking about Christianity and all but that Marx crap. Marx also taught that communism cannot directly I mean, replace if you're a Christian, then... You know, no offense to you, but I am as the very much atheist. <laughs> Marx stated it categorically. That. Yeah. Lenin repeated it. So did okay. Stalin. <laughs> so I may pop in, in and out of Diamond Socialism, City Radio over time. There are some songs. It's not all just like PSAs. Um, in the comments, you can tell me if you prefer to listen to Diamond City Radio or not. But I will be just kind of putting it on and off because there are some story-based things that are attached to it. Is there anything in the uh, vending machine over here? Ooh, cigarettes. No Nuka-Colas, okay. So the last time that I tested this out, this is where I came across all the glowing ones and the, uh, the behemoth. I'm really surprised I haven't met anything yet. I'm gonna check the status of my, uh, my mod. Okay, I turned off the spawn limiter because I think it might just be uh, preventing anything from appearing. Hey. Okay. I'll have to... Ah! Stop it! Ah! Get off of me! Where's the other one? Oh, he's too far. Oh, shit. Let's eat some food while I've got a chance. Float fly. Some rad roach. Stop it! Look, my health is still dropping. Okay, let's eat a bit more. A couple of roaches. Delicious! Mm -mm. We're really going to be relying a lot on food. But, yeah, I have, um... I have the spawn difficulty set down pretty low, but then I also turned on the spawn limiter because I didn't want to risk there being too many things spawning all at once, but I think I had set it way too low because nothing seems to be spawning in. So we'll see if that works better. So let's run around and collect a few things, like these caps. And... Is that dog meat? Oh, dog meat, stop it. You spooking me. There's got to be some stuff upstairs, too. I think there's a drug stash? Yeah, some jet. I'm also going to have to learn to use uh, drugs a bit, because... Uh, oh, is that a bobby pin? Yeah. Because um, typically when I play, I don't really use any, but I feel like they'll be very effective for uh, an up-close kind of character. Oh, level two! So, let's... Get here, um, I also got to look to see over here. I've got written down all of the um, all the perks I'm planning on taking. The first one, of course, that I need is idiot savant because with such low intelligence, my experience gain is going to be pretty crappy. But idiot savant will allow me to get quite a bit more. Randomly, I'll get three times experience at this level. So. There we go. Um, oh, I didn't go in this house. So one of the other things I thought of was that I want to be a bit of a collector. And I know I said in the last playthrough that I was going to collect, like, I don't remember, teddy bears or something. This time I'm going to try to collect anything that's Nuka-Cola related, like this Nuka-Cola cherry lamp. And that tiny Nuka Cola machine. Oh, some cigarettes. Cigar box. 
Um, I mean, those aren't things to collect, but oh, God, I hate those things. Get out of here, you monkey. So I'm going to try and collect those. I'm also not going to go grabbing just every single random thing that I find. I'm going to try to... Uh oh Whenever that happens, it's the, uh, the spawn mod <laughs> spawning some things in. Let's go check in here. 